Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, Heist Man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. I gotta talk about it, man. I gotta talk about it. Me personally, I'm a straight man, but I'm a drag fan, and I gotta talk about this right now, man. There's something been on my mind since yesterday when I seen the footage of this, man. I gotta call out RuPaul. Oh, you know you can't call out RuPaul, but man, I gotta ask, I gotta ask a question like, yo, Ru, what's going on? What's the deal? What's the dealio? The thing I'm talking about is Vanity Vane. Some things happen, man. I don't really get. I don't get, man. It's something I don't know. I don't understand this. RuPaul, help me out, people. Fans, drag fans, y'all let me know. Help me out. How the hell did Vanity Vane, she events to next week? How she make it? I don't understand this. Vanity Vane, she lives to see another day. And um, I want to know, is the lip sync for your life, is that really important? We got to be like it, it must be important because she won her way back. Global All Stars, she made it back, man. She had one of the worst roasts ever. You know they did a roast, the international roast with on um, RuPaul and you know they must have been talking about the people on the dais and all this stuff. She got up there, Vanity Devane. She got up there and sung a song. It wasn't good either. It was pitchy. It didn't. It didn't sound good. It wasn't funny. It was a roast. It was a roast. And she got up there singing the song. And you just see the people face, man. They was looking like uh-huh. it was it was cringe. And she made it. Look, I mean, I can't play the sound for you. Y'all go back and look at it, man. Global All Stars, Vanity Vane. I'm looking like everybody got up there told jokes. Everybody got up there told jokes, made people laugh, or tried to attempt to make people laugh. She got up there and sung a song and everybody looking like What's going on? It was crazy, right? On top of, hold on, look at this. This, this is what I like to see. I like to see Alyssa Edwards on this side over here looking like, mm, look, what the hell? When she's up there doing her roast over here, the international roast, when she was doing that, you see the people all behind her like, what the hell is she talking about? What she doing? Then, for her, um, on her lip sync, this was she, I mean, not no, this is not a lip sync. This was her look. The, the, the look was being like, gone with the wind or the wind they gonna blow you away or something and she said her look was um got messed up in transport on the way there just she was like yo my 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 look i had got messed up so i just threw some shit together basically and her shit was looking like a christmas tree man literally she went and got christmas stuff and put on her body man and wore this and i'm looking like yo this is disgusting the first thing i thought about was the christmas tree from um stanford university it's a, it's a tree they got in Stanford University. It's the mascot. And it just look crazy. A whole lot of things, extremities hanging off of it. Just look crazy. And that's the first thing I thought about when I seen this dress of hers. And like, I'm looking like, oh yeah, so you definitely in the bottom. I know you're going to be in the bottom when this, you know, in this episode. And um, I'm like, who's she going to be at the bottom with though? You know, who's going to be at the bottom with her? And the first person I thought about was going to be, I can't pronounce her name right because she been boring me to death. Her name... Nahelia, Nahelena, Nalia, y'all know what I'm talking about, this chick right here. She did a fantastic job, though, during the roast. And that's why they couldn't throw her at the bottom. They couldn't throw her at the bottom this time because it, it, when you sit there and watch RuPaul Drag Race, you be looking like, you kind of know who going home, who they going to keep around and stuff. But I think RuPaul is so biased, man. RuPaul biased. You make Ru laugh, you can stay. Look over there. <laughs> you staying. You staying a couple episodes. If Rue like it, this is Rue's show. Who can do what they want. But I'm be like, yo, you, like this favoritism stuff, man, I be watching it like, damn, yo. Like, you really letting her stay? That's how I felt. But that's why I'm doing this video, man. I, um, I watch it all the time, but I don't really make content. My beer, my beer look crazy. Spray my shit out. All right. Um, I don't really do content on RuPaul and stuff like that because... I don't know. I just don't do it all the time. But it's passionate though. So I'm talking about it right now. I got to be passionate because I want to be a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. I love to judge that shit. I'll be a guest judge. I got to get famous though. But this is no here, no doubt. So, but I'm thinking like this person right here, like she gonna be at the bottom. You know, one coming up soon is like when you watch shows, you be like, you know who the top, who who, who the top queen, the king, and all that, whatever. 
and you know who's going to be at the bottom. I'm thinking it's her turn to be at the bottom. She's going to go home, right? But she couldn't go home because she killed it. She killed it. Her look was all right. It flew. It flowed with the with the wind, the fire, and all that stuff she had on. So I'm thinking, like, who's going to be at the bottom with, um, what's her name? Vanity Vane. I'm like, who's going to be at the bottom? I said, it's got to be either Testa, um, Testa Testicle, because Testa Testicle, she did all right. And I think Tessa Testicle going to last another round. You see, I'm like, yeah. So Vanity Devane going home after, after, the, after the looks, after the looks, after um, her performance at the roast and after her, her look for the wind, I'm like, oh, yeah, she going home. You can just like if you watch enough TV and enough reality TV and competition shows. You, you just automatically know who's going home. Right. So I'm looking like, oh, yeah, she had a bad performance and a bad look. She going home. So who's going to be with her? I'm like, it might be Tessa Testicle because, you know, she did all right. She didn't really do good on the roast. Her look was all right. So, you know, I, I liked her look. Matter of fact, she had the, um, the, 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 all the, sh the shiny shit look like a Christmas tree also. Like the stuff to go around it. So hers was better. But I'm thinking like, then it was like Pythia. It was like, I didn't think Pythia was going to be at the bottom, but I said, maybe they want to see Pythia dance or something. Because Pythia had probably one of the best outfits on and her headdress all those things on it when they put the wind to it flying beautiful i'm like oh this is dope so i'm looking like okay when they put her in there yeah, i'm looking like yo this is gonna be cool she gets some more shine she did her thing with the zeus you know <laughs> that was funny but she kept she did the zeus they brought that back up that she did zeus the previous week i'm looking like oh yeah so it's gonna be vanity vane versus you know pythia and, and zeus or whatever you know and i ain't think they was gonna pick Pythia because she had this big headdress on. I'm saying they're not going to make her dress wear that. And she was like, I want to wear this to dance in. I'm looking like, okay. So when it come down to the lip, the lip sync for your life, it went down. It was Pythia versus Vanity Vane and Vanity Vane won. I'm looking like, remember I looked at each other and we're like, yo, she made it through. She made, she won. I'm talking about the only reason I'm saying that, I mean, she, she claiming she a lip sync assassin and all that stuff saying that uh, like you you won you won but yo 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 performance and you you had a roast you sung a song and it didn't work people was looking at you crazy man and you did your look you literally said you made this look up you said so it got damaged in your suitcase so you just put some shit together and that's what you did you put that together and you still so that's what i'm saying how important is your lip sync for your life that's what i gotta know now because i know rupaul will damn she'll let you go through she'll pass you by if she like you and it's like the competition i'll be feeling like damn come on man because i only think queen Kong should have damn got half of that money when doing the thing you understand i think she just tried to try to you know spread it out spread the love or whatever but the competition got to be a competition man like come on now in this episode, I don't think Queen Kong should have got half that money. I think which color should have straight up won it. Um, N N Holly, I thought she should have won over, like, I think that's how you say her name, but she did so good, you couldn't throw her at the bottom. So it was like, it was just, I, I just knew for a fact. I'm like, oh yeah, Vanity Devane going home. Vanity Devane, she good, she doing her thing, but I just, I don't know, man. That's a, I ain't like I said, I ain't calling out Rue. You can't call out, you can't call out mother can't call out rude but you know what i'm saying like come on make it make sense talk to me let me know do you like benny devane that much because i'm telling you them, do, them two performances i don't know man who else who else was a lip sync assassin i remember what was that yeah was it um sicky nutmeg ganache she beat like 12 people in a row <laughs> i was like damn to get back in the house i'm like okay so that that counted then but Van, is Vanny, is she a, is she a lip singer? That, do she lip sync for her life that well? It was like, and, and watching it, watching it, I'm looking like, okay, you, you really is, you, you, you killing Pythia in this, in this lip sync for your life. But I'm just saying like, I guess, man, I guess is you can, you can fuck up the whole competition and come back on lip sync for your life and sing away or something. I don't know, man, but. That's just my take. This is my opinion, my passionate opinion about this. Uh, I am a straight male. That I'm a drag fan. I love drag race, RuPaul drag race, and all the activities go on with it. I love it. Big shout out to all y'all doing y'all thing. 
I'm just passionate about this, man. I just want to know how the hell did Vanny Devane make it. And I and, and I'm not even rooting for Pythia like that. I'm, it ain't because like, oh, you just saying that because you want Pythia to win. It's like, nah. I think um, what's the, what's, the, what's the, not um not Alyssa but um the damn chubby one. What's her name? Kitty got Kitty Kitty got Kitty Scott Claus. I think that's the one gonna win. That's that's the funny one to me. I like. Kitty Scott Claus, I love that one right now, for that show, for this show right here, this this season. I don't think Alyssa Edwards is gonna win just because she's too perfect. Like Alyssa Edwards, she trans, she transitioned, transist. She 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 bigger than um Drag Race to me. I feel like she gonna get her paper and her bread. She don't really need to win. She can come back, show up, do her thing, have some fun, help the damn contestants along. Like you need somebody in there, like an OG in there. She. Don't, she ain't got the win, but she pretty dope. Alyssa Edwards. But I think Kitty Scott Claw is going to win it this year. Um, but you never know, man. You, I, I be I be thinking RuPaul be giving people um, the black pass sometime, too. I be like, she just let that person win because they black. Just I I just had, I, I got to call it out sometime, man. Because I, like I said, Queen Kong shouldn't have got that half of that damn money. She, she wasn't that good. And her hair, she had the hardest um Hardest wigs. I be looking like, damn, girl, get your wig right. Your wig look hard and crunchy. My wife said, what is it? You think I'm sending that wig? I said, a toboggan. I said, she got a toboggan. That little toboggan she be wearing, she threw a wig right on top of that shit. Because it had all lumps in it and stuff. I don't know, man. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday night at 9 p.m. Talking about everything in the world, man. I have fun on this channel, man. But sometimes I do like to talk about RuPaul drag race and all Ru drag race activities or whatever. Anyway, I let your boy Heist Man the talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This has been my opinion on Vanity Vane, RuPaul, and Pythia and all the drag race stuff. Blah, 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 blah. I let your boy Heist Man the Peace. This is a dangerous group the groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.